Okay, Spark OS is based on Android 12 and the new update is out with a lot of changes, a lot of improvements, a lot of new things included. Make sure to watch this video till the end. I'm going to share with you all the things which we got in this build. Let's get started. If you take a look at the quick settings panel, if you're able to see there are some changes. New things, of course, with the new clock available at the top of the quick settings panel, which can be customized in settings, of course, and I think so. It's a good move. In the customization section, they've improved a lot. SparkOS always has a yellow kind of UI in even in Android version 11. And in Android version 12, the fireworks will have the new kind of customization section. UI is properly revamped. Talking about the camera section, and yes, I have included this one because I think so. They just listed this thing in the official change log that the camera, this camera app is included in the almost all devices builds. So if you're using any device which has a Spark OS latest update available for you, check out this camera. This is a new camera and I think so. It has good UI too. If we talk about the quick settings as I previously shown you, we have the clock styles available for you. If you don't like the default one and then you can choose this option. This also looks good by the way, but if you need the default one, which already I've shown you, let me show you by going into quick setting clock picker spark clock one. This is how it is looking like. Whichever you want to choose, you can and both of these have good UI. Including that you also have the icon pack support for you PUI which is actually a magisk model and I made a video on that and you can go and check it out if you want to you can use that icon pack including that the arches icon pack is also there these are some cool things which you have pre-installed in this latest park OS. While the quick settings panel also has a Wi-Fi and mobile data separate tiles available for you, which is quite useful, of course, but I thought I should share with you. And yes, if you do, if your customer does not have this, you can get that by using just a command in Termux. But in this build in Spark OS latest update, you have these things already included. Another change which we have is the custom fonts. You have a lot of font options available for you. OnePlus Sans and OnePlus Slate. Both of these font files are actually my favorite. And you can use any other fonts if you want to. I think so. It's also good. In the notifications section, you now you can customize the heads up notifications. You can use the option of annoying notifications and less boring heads up, which I always use in my all custom homes, which is actually quite useful. And that's now included in this build. It also has some options related to power menu. You can enable the advanced reboot options. You can also enable the screenshot option and has a white background in power menu. Everything else I've already shown you about these new changes which we have in the latest Spark OS. So if you want to give it a try, the link for the official website is in the description. Everything, the changes which we have with the latest update I've already shown you. I hope you like that video. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. Goodbye, I'll see next video. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.